Hi, my name is Jeff Butler. First, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view our Doodle Labs Link Budget Calculation Tool tutorial. To get started, let's have a look at our design example. Our project requires a 5 kilometer link be established between our ground control station and our drone. The ground control, control station radio is comprised of a Doodle Labs wearable with two 3DBI Omni antennas. Our drone is equipped with a Doodle Labs embedded radio with also two 3DBI Omni antennas. The link specifications are for 2 megabit data throughput to be sustained to support the application, operating a 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency, and we've chosen to reduce our, our channel bandwidth from the default of 20 down to 10 megahertz. We did this for two reasons. Reason number one is by reducing the channel bandwidth to 10 megahertz, we increase our fade margin effectively by 3 dB. And the second reason of which is operating on 10 megahertz channel bandwidth will allow us to partially mitigate the existence of other 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi noise that is predominantly at 20 megahertz channel bandwidth. Here's our link budget estimation tool. To navigate there, Click on the Link Calculator tab at the lower left-hand corner of the spreadsheet. A prerequisite for the path equation is the existence of a clear radio frequency line of sight, unobstructed, between the transmit antenna of the transmitter and the receive antenna on the receive side. Any path obstruction, be it tree, building, or person, would invalidate the outcome of the calculation. It's outside the boundaries of the of the path equation. Now let's start filling out the various selections here on the table. The first we'll do is the model number. Um, our model numbers equate to the effective operating frequency of the device. So in our case, we're looking for the 2.4 gigahertz radio, which is the RM2450. The second selection we'll enter is the modulation MCS rate. But before we do that, I want to see how this correlates to the performance of the actual radio itself. In order to determine which specific MCS modulation rate to choose and select in our link calculator, I would like to first refer to the following table, which comes out of our quick evaluation guide. This table represents the over-the-air effective data throughput rates for a specific modulation rate and effective channel bandwidth. This table shows the link speeds for dual MIMO radio configuration, that's two antennas, two data streams, modulation rates MCS8 through MCS15. In order to calculate the equivalent single stream data throughputs from modulation rates MCS0 through MCS7, you would take the respective dual stream MIMO modulation rates and multiply them by a factor of one half. In our example of a 10 megahertz channel bandwidth, in order to calculate the MCS0 data throughput, you would take the equivalent MCS8 data throughput rate of 4.84 megabits per second, multiply by a factor of one half, yielding 2.4 megabits per second data throughput, which is more than adequate to meet our design requirement of 2 megabits per second sustained throughput. There is one more selection in our calculator that I want to highlight, and that's the transmit power specification. And for that, I want to refer back to our data sheet. Taking a look at our data sheet, and as you can see here under RF power output, the yeah, transmit power of the radio is correlated specifically to the modulation rate that you operate in. So for MCS0 or MCS8, we can operate at a full transmit power of 30 dBm, which is the case for this design. Uh, MCS7 to 15 would be a minimum of 24 dBm data through the modulation with uh, power. So let's go back to our, again, 30 for basically MCS0. Okay, I'm, I will enter 30 dBm for our power level. I've taken the time to fill in the rest of the values for antenna gains, link distance, cable losses, and, and we now look at our all-important value for fade mar for receive level, which is negative 80.1, which yields a fade margin of 15.9. The fade margin is the amount of signal above and beyond the minimum threshold required. As per our best practices, 12 dB of fade margin is recommended for system design. We're above that, so we'll reliably operate at MCS0 and, and, and modulation rates beyond that. So I'd like to take your time. Thank you again for taking your time with this 
Voodle Labs tutorial. Thanks again.